Well, I'm supposed to be signing the flag and getting a picture today, <laughs> but it's obviously the, the worst day of the week. But it's obviously the, the, the biggest flag. Um, celebrities and football legends, uh, former football legends are signing it. Um, you know, every, every signature that you get nationwide are going to donate a pound. Um, we've capped up to £50,000 um, to give to grassroots football who have a chance to to receive that money. So it's to raise awareness for the tournament this um, summer. And um, yeah, just thrilled that I've been asked to, to sign it um, and drum up as much support. Uh, we want to raise as much awareness about it as possible. And, and they, the, the general public can sign it online virtually. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great campaign to be a part of. She's got a very, very tough job because there's so many top um, quality players now for Hegarisa to pick. Um, you know, I think any England squad that, that is picked, anybody can rotate and come in and do a really decent job. So to pick 18 players is always going to be tough and you're always going to have some heartbreak um, of players that aren't going to be selected. The big surprise for me was Jordan Nobbs. Um, I played with her um, throughout Arsenal and England and I know how talented she is. And she's, I know she's missed out on the last couple of big tournaments and this is another big occasion that she hasn't made the cut and I, I'm I just I think she's had a very good season um, but you know it's the manager's choice and she's picked two holding midfielders um, over picking Jordan so for me she's gone a little bit conservative in, in that position um, obviously Chloe Kelly I think was a, a major upset not upset but she she would have been in the squad if it wouldn't have been for her ACL injury she's had a fantastic season um, I'm delighted that Lauren Hemp's in there because I think she's been a standout player, someone that, for me, gets me off my seat when she gets the ball and she dribble, dribbles at players. I haven't seen an English player like that that can take players on and, and wiggle and worm and create stuff on the left-hand side. Um, so I'm thrilled that she's in because she'll give um, some balance on that left-hand side. And being a 20-year-old going to the Olympics is just um, a dream come true. So hopefully she can deliver. I think it's a, a good, strong, solid squad with experience um, and youth, a good mixture. I think there's, I think, 13, is it, new Olympians that will potentially be there and five that are returning. Yeah. So you've got that experience there, the five that have been there and done it before. I mean, Kim Little, Steph Horton, Jill Scott, um, Ellen White, they're all, you know, big game players, big name players within the their national teams that will calm the nerves of some of the young ones. Um, so yeah, I think she's got a good blend. Um, it's, it's, it's always hard when you pick 18 because you've got, you know, pick two goalies and then the outfield players. So she's had to pick and choose uh, carefully of how she's going to select her, her team.